Hello, hello. How is everyone doing? Well, haven't hopped on here in a while. Um, but today we're going to talk about spiritual health. Uh, my name is Chinedi Okofora, and welcome to Health and Faith Chat with MP Chinedi. And um, so I want to share just briefly with you um, today on the topic of walking in the spirit. So, um, credit to today, if you have the Bible app, um, to, it's today's verse actually. It's called Galatians 5 16. And I'm going to read the verse to you. It says, This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. If you have the Bible app, I think it's you verse. I really highly recommend that because I use it and it has really helped me. And it's very, very um, just something you need. To, you just need to have it as an app. So walking in the spirit was the topic today. Galatians 5, 16. Um, have you ever had struggle with knowing what to do, but not really doing it? Yeah, I think all of us have, have that issue. Uh, a lot of times it's not knowing it's not what you know it's you know what to do but it's a struggle between what i know to do and actually doing it actually doing it that's actually the problem um but i tell you there's a secret to this the secret is what is fueling you the secret is having the motivation the power and in allowing god to actually help you to do it because in yourself in your power you want to do it, but you really, really can't do it. Um, this is a struggle. If you read Romans seven nineteen, how Paul had the struggle, the apostle Paul, the great apostle, who's probably my favorite Bible character anyway, he had this problem. If he had this problem, I think that it can be expected of all of us. Um, what he said, he, what he wants to do, is not what he ends up doing because, you know, the will is like what he wants to do is not really what he ends up doing. So if you understand there is a struggle on the inside, you know, the struggle, the flesh, and the spirit, that's always going to have a struggle. Just because you are on your way to heaven, child of God, you may still have the flesh, uh, the feelings of the flesh. What is the flesh? The, f the flesh is basically the part that wants to leave God out. So the flesh is, is when you start with the word I, I want to, I want to do this. And it's not necessarily what God wants you to do. It's just because it's what you want to do. But the goal is for us to align ourselves with what God wants us to do, walking in the spirit. So the Bible says that if we walk in the spirit, we're not going to fulfill the desires of the flesh. It's not saying that you're not going to have the desires of the flesh because you're going to have it, but it's fulfilling it. That's the problem. So how do you do that? By walking in the spirit. So how do you do that? I want to encourage us with just three simple steps. Okay. The first one is to meditate meditate on god's word meditating on god's word it's like the backbone of everything that we do because it's like truth right how do you know truth from error you know because the word of god says what is true and what is not in alignment with that it's not true so meditating on god's word and when you meditate on it think about it over and over it begins to really fill your mind so you're able to you know, make better decisions because now you have a reference point, which is the truth. So if you come to, or if you hear something that doesn't sound right, the Bible tells us to take captive those thoughts to the obedience of Christ. What that means is that if someone says something, and then the Bible says another thing, what you have to do is take that thought captive and say, this is not in alignment with what I know is true, and then align it to the truth. So it starts with meditating, it starts with knowing what the word of God is, which is the truth. And then the second one is, is prayer. Prayer is simply talking to God. Um, just as I'm talking to you right now, talk to him about your needs, talk to him about whatever it is. And that's how we walk in the spirit, but we, we allow the Holy Spirit to come in and fill us with his power. Now we're able to do the things he wants us to do because you're not, the Christian life, you can't really live it by your own power. You have to have God's power, the Holy Spirit that is indwelling each of us as believers. By prayer, God says, you know, uh, in the Bible it says, prayer in the supply of the spirit. When we pray, God empowers us, fills us with his spirit. And then we are able to do the things he's called us to do. And then the third way in walking in the spirit is basically stop um, 
exposing your senses to the things that are not in alignment to the truth, to the word of God. With our senses, with our eyes, ears, touch, all of those things, the way that we interact with the world are our senses. So we need to make sure that we're not putting junk into our senses because what is it? Junk in, junk out. Same way with the body. If you eat properly, that is going to eventually show on the outside. So we want to put good things in our bodies so that our bodies are going to be healthy and strong the same way with your spirit so you have to put good things in it you have to let your senses put in good things that are going to expose yourself to things that are going to be edifying productive healthy so that you can develop healthy thought patterns um so it's all going to help you to walk in the spirit so you have to limit your exposure to the things that are not in alignment to walk in the spirit so those three things, meditating in God's word and taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Number two, prayer. Number three, limiting exposure to things that don't really line up to the spirit. So in summary, um, just meditate on that scripture today. Galatians 5, 16. Uh, this I say, then walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So that is our word for today. Health and faith chat with Chinadu. Until next time, of course, if you want to connect with me, I will put a link here. Uh, let's chat if you're ever interested in, in, you know, optimal, pursuing optimal health of the mind, body, and soul. Hey, let's have a conversation. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.